Okay, along with the uh, steps that were replaced, I had to replace the uh, battery box. And uh, it was kind of a chore to get it out. There's actually uh, rivets on the outside. I uh, grind them down on the inside and then took a center punch and drive them out. But then actually up in here, it's hard to see, but it's actually bolted to there and also to there. And you can see where it's uh, where you bolt it on. You can see it's all rotted out in the back. I was actually just going to get it fixed, but yeah, it was probably just cheaper to uh, buy that one over there that's in really good shape, no rust on it. That's the one we're going to replace it with. But I wanted to show these birds' nests. You can see there was three of them. And what's quite impressive, if you can see how it's actually, it was pressed up in there. I don't know how these birds got in and out of there. You can see where it's all rotted out. But that's uh, that's the battery box. Yeah, this uh, the engine was actually covered. Probably if you remember when I uh, went and was seeing if I can get the bus run, there was bird shit all over the engine, bird nests. Probably was a few birds, obviously, but just wanted to show the floor. We got the back half in. That's just a look at the floor. I kind of hated it to have to run uh, from the side to side. I actually wanted the, the grain of the wood to run front to back, but this stuff comes in 12 foot wide and it was cost it was more cost efficient to to uh run it this way but it's all glued down we're all good and uh i just have to uh do the front half here but i'm probably gonna wait so but that's the update on the bus and uh yeah like i said i got the steps in now and i just got to put this battery box in the uh battery box on this one as I said it's in really good shape there's no rust on it so just got to clean it up a little bit and uh, put her back up in there but I may not actually do it today I got some plans this afternoon and uh, it was a little bit of a uh, bear to get the other one out not a bear but oh one thing I do want to say is what I used to get them bolts were so rusty right and I didn't feel like using my torches so I used that new gun I got. I just got sitting here in a box. And what I did is I, uh, being just a three quarter, I got a few adapters and just stepped it down to, uh, all the way down to three eighths, put a socket on those nuts and uh, zipped them right off. I mean, uh, this thing just got so much power. Of course, I only had it on the very lowest setting, but those bolts and nuts were rusty and you would have never got them off with a regular wrench and ratchet. And uh, the only problem I did have is whenever I was putting this on there, it was spinning the wrench when I was trying to hold the top of the bolt with the wrench and letting the wrench get pinched up against something metal so that it would stay there. This thing has got so much torque, it was causing the wrench to jump off. But I was able actually to wind up putting vice grips up in there and uh, hold the top of the head while I zipped the nut off. But uh, yeah, we're making progress. The garage is an absolute mess. <laughs> And what sucks is because I normally have room for two cars in here. Of course, we only have one car. But, uh, uh, yeah, the uh, this is just all basically due to the uh, the bus. These are the cabinets that are going in. Yeah, I think it's snowing. Yep, we got our first uh, snowflakes. I don't know if you can tell, but trust me. There's the cabinets there. She painted some little southwestern, she had some stencils, some cactuses and uh, whatnot on her. But this is the uh, the dinette. These are the two seats you would see in an RV. All right, and cool. over there on top of my tractor there is the table. You know, that's the table and the two bench seats. Um, and I'm not sure where the cushions are. What, you're going in? Yeah, I'm going in. All right, be careful. Love you. Thanks for checking, check, thanks for checking out the bird's nest. You're welcome. Hey. Have a good day. <laughs> her her dad, my son, had just got uh, a buck today, archery, and uh, went over this morning and helped them drag it out of the woods. And uh, so yeah, that was a great moment between us. But so yeah, here's the uh, other part of the flooring that's got to go in the front. But it's going to be a little while before I put that in because I got so much stuff to do still on the bus that uh, 
I don't want to be keep tracking on the floor. I mean, I might still put it in and then just put a bunch of cardboard down. So, but once the floor is all in, this will all get trimmed out so it doesn't look like that. And then, as I said, I'm going to try to clean up the rust that was from some of the bolt heads. Um, you can see them bolt heads are steel, so they get rusty, and then the rust, when it gets wet, runs down and stains it. So we're going to get that cleaned up. I want to get this all painted black. And uh, But I think what I'm going to do for now is just run the flooring right to here, and I'll stop. And then this is going to get a separate piece. But I just want to get it uh, basically right to here for the flooring so I can go ahead and start building and uh, get this thing uh <sighs> kind of get this thing going here uh, over there. I'm not really concerned with that. That's gonna, there's going to be a box there that's going to cover up that because um, that's where my solar batteries are going to go and fuse box and charge controller and all that uh, stuff like that. So, so yeah, uh, things are uh, coming together. Adios. Okay, all done. Got the new battery box in. This one, it had a different door, and I only put it on because it's got the uh, chrome handle. Mine was uh, steel and it was actually kind of rusty. So, you know, by chrome, if you don't have it, you are not getting home. Uh, this one, for some reason, the bottom of it was painted black, but it's fine now. When the bus gets painted, it'll all, all be the same color. So, there it is. You can see uh, typically this is riveted in here, but uh, I don't have the rivets for it, so I just bolted it in. All I had to do is just drill the holes a little bigger and I just put uh, quarter inch bolts, which is fine. Works out good. Everything's back to normal. And this battery tray right here, it just slides. There's uh, three rails, one, two, then three, and then I just put a little coat of grease on them so it slides real good. And we're all back to, so the only thing I need to get done that, uh, was one of the problems other than the brakes and tires was this issue right here this part of the frame it's uh kind of rusted out this is just a frame that goes it's uh the fuel tanks in there and this just keeps it so if there's any side impact it doesn't crush the fuel tank and cause any issues during an accident so all i'm just going to do is uh hack up hack that off and just weld a new piece on there but the rest of it's in good shape, other than just a little scabby rust from the undercoating coming off. And uh, that'll be uh, three of the main concerns, the steps, the battery box, and that frame. So, all right, thanks for watching.